all the layers from Photoshop must be merged and every set of targets we want to use as switch should be in single group like this set of eye switches or mouth switches which individually saved in different layers Depending on the size of every file, it takes a while to export all the layers. In order to rig the character, we use character generator. Every layer in Photoshop is now converted to an object which has the texture coming from the layer from Photoshop. We select all the objects and then scale them all to the character inside the rectangle. This rectangle is all, almost like 180 centimeters, so we can have the character in 180 height. Then we choose different part of the character like feet, hands, we can also determine the number of fingers. All the groups we have in Photoshop are now converted to max groups that we can select them in order to create the switches or targets. In order to pick more conveniently different Sell different parts, we can hide other objects and unhide the desired objects. This will help us not to select unwanted, unwanted objects. After picking different parts and we corrected the character scale, we choose a new category and then click on generate. Now our rig is ready. We can test different sections to make sure everything works. If we tested everything and then we see some part of the rig is not working correctly, we press undo generate and then go to the one step back. Go to one step back. And if one object was mistakenly selected or if one pivot is not in the right position, then we can correct it and once again do the generation. Auto skin cut helps us to uh, work on some parts of the character as a skinny so it works and moves smoothly. We can do this auto skin on different sections like neck, feet and, and hands and also skirt. If the character has a skirt, some parts of the character after generation needs to be linked to different pieces like nose which doesn't have any road in animation but it has to be linked to the head. Once we make sure that the rig is complete, then we make a thumbnail of the character and then 
we can use it later in the asset browser then we can save it and our rig is saved in the project and then we can load it from asset browser the targets we have created during the rigging for example for the mouth of the character here we can use them for animation 